Hello, I'm Nils. In this video, I'll be doing a quick overview of coenzyme Q10 and why it may be helpful to some people to supplement with it. This video is not intended as and should not be taken as medical advice. Coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 is a fat soluble compound that's available both from food and supplements. It's stored in our mitochondria where it helps make adenosine triphosphate, which in turn helps our cells generate energy. Studies have shown that CoQ10 is essential to several bodily functions and that maintaining a high level of it could provide benefits to our brains, hearts, and reproductive systems. For our brains, it appears to reduce compounds that are associated with a higher risk of neurological diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, particularly if it's taken along with a small amount of vitamin E. One study found that concurrent administration of coenzyme Q10 and alpha tosopherol improves learning in aged mice. It's also been found to reduce the inflammation associated with migraine headaches. For our hearts, studies show that higher levels of CoQ10 are associated with a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and that when taken as a supplement it can also reduce blood pressure. For reproductive health some studies suggest that CoQ10 can slow and even reverse the decline in egg quantity and quality as women age and that it can improve sperm quality and concentration in men thereby boosting fertility. Like many other essential compounds, as we age, we lose our ability to make CoQ10. Our internal levels start dropping when we're in our 20s. Some health conditions, including diabetes and cancer, are also associated with an even greater reduction in CoQ10. And if we exercise, that also lowers our store of CoQ10. Also, some drugs, such as statins, can lower our plasma levels well into the danger zone. When our levels drop, we can restore our CoQ10 to more youthful levels by taking supplements. We can also get CoQ10 from foods. Some foods that are high in the compound include fatty fish such as mackerel, sardines, and salmon, organ meats from both birds and mammals, meat from beef, pork, and poultry, soybeans, and green leafy vegetables. While these are legitimate sources and contain many other nutrients, they contain relatively small amounts of CoQ10 compared to supplements. To get 100 milligrams, we'd need to eat around three pounds of beef heart or five pounds of liver or over 120 cups of cabbage a day. So for those who want to restore CoQ10 to a youthful level, taking a supplement is the most effective method. For those taking supplements, there are two forms to choose from, ubiquinol and ubiquinon. The ubiquinol form is advertised as being more effective, and some studies show that it is better absorbed, but most studies showing benefits from CoQ10, the great majority of the studies, in fact, were done on the ubiquinon form. The body actually converts CoQ10 back and forth between the two forms. Whatever form you take, it should be taken along with some fat or oil. In my own case, I used to take a very large dose of CoQ10 in the ubiquinol form, around 300 to 500 milligrams a day. I've cut back on it. I'm currently taking 100 milligrams of the ubiquinon form once or twice a week, along with a food that's naturally rich in it, such as liver or sardines. As with any supplement, I'd recommend researching both the purported benefits and side effects before taking it and consulting with a doctor if you have any medical concerns. This video is brought to you by Do Not Age, a good source for anti-aging supplements. They don't currently sell CoQ10, but they do have several other supplements that I take and value very much. I use their NMN, NR, creatine, CERT6 activator, 
and several other supplements. For a 10% discount on their products, use the discount code PATHWAYS in all caps. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.